Hi there. This video will focus on the administration aspects and the server aspects of the Syncfusion dashboard platform. If you've not already looked at the other video that focused on the designer aspect, uh, please do take a look at that because that walks through the actual creation of a dashboard uh, and how it would be uh, used to configure the information that is available and so forth. So in this, uh, we're going to we're already done with the dashboard creation process and uh, we have connected to a server and published it online. Um, so this is the server UI. It is available uh, through a browser interface. Um, in this case, I'm connecting through our uh, demo server at uh, dashboardserver.syncfusion.com. And uh, you can also connect to this demo server. I'm logged in as an administrator. Uh, you can log in as a guest and take a look at some of these things that I'm talking about today. So you see a list of dashboards. Uh, they can be scoped by category. And uh, I can uh, click on a dashboard um, and uh, open it up. So in this case, I clicked on the Northwind dashboard, and I have it open here and uh, running. Um, the idea is that uh, with the dashboard server, uh, you are accomplishing two things. One, you are making the dashboard that you created publicly available uh, through the server. So someone who has credentials on your system uh, can come in and actually log in and uh, look at the dashboards that are available to them. In this case, as an administrator, I can see all of these different dashboards uh, that are available to me, and I can just simply click on a dashboard and um, have it open up and uh, view it that way. Now, it also serves as the uh, administration point, basically. So I can actually go in and uh, um, click on uh, user management, uh, for instance, and then uh, it brings up a system where I can configure permissions. So in this case, I'm just going to go in and uh, look at a, a user, and um, I can manage the permissions for what that user is able to do. Uh, so there are pre-built um, permission sets that are available. So in this case, uh, I can say I want to add permission. I want to give the user read permission. Uh, maybe I want to have them uh, be able to read a particular dashboard, basically. So I can say specific dashboard, and then the scope would be the actual uh, dashboard uh, that I am going to let them uh, read, basically. So that's um, so I can do another permission, and then I can cancel out of it, uh, close it out. So you can do all of that uh, from within the system. Um, I can also uh, manage it in a general uh, administration sense. Uh, so if I have uh, system-wide settings, I want to change the name. Um, I want to change the uh, profile. Uh, I want to have the logos change. Um, I want to configure how email is sent to my subscribers. Um, dashboard subscribers, I can do that. Um, I can set up Active Directory integration. So we, by default, have a system for storing users and authenticating them if you're not connecting to Active Directory. Um, but if you are in a corporate um, Active Directory environment, then you can um, sync up with the Active Directory server and have everything kind of accomplished that way. All the groups will come in, and you can configure permissions uh, that way as well, basically. So let's uh, go back and uh, look at the dashboard um, uh, system here. Another thing I just want to quickly point out is that I can actually go in and configure different things that are specific to the dashboard. So I can say I want to open the dashboard with the dashboard designer. I want to bring an um, offline copy for uh, working with the dashboard designer or um, to just look at it and uh, maybe edit it and so forth. Um, I can copy it, clone it, do all those things. Um, I can also schedule it. So scheduling is when you want a static um, image of the dashboard as it occurs at a particular moment in time. So I can uh, say I want this to be daily, or you know I can make it weekly, hourly, whatever, basically, and then schedule it and say I want you to kind of send this out um, to uh, to me, basically. And I can enable it and then say this is what it is. Uh, I want to send it to the system administrator, and I want it to be uh, sent as an image. So I can schedule that. Uh, I'll go ahead and schedule it for me. And uh, I can actually now see it appear on my schedule right here, basically. So it, it uh, says it's yet to run, but it's active, and, and, and so forth. So it's really uh, very simple to get something up and running um, and uh, have the dashboard um, available publicly on your system, shared with your users in a secure way, 
and uh, also easy to update, easy to refresh, uh, easy to manage permissions, and, and so forth. The whole thing is also very customizable. Uh, we make it uh, simple if you want to include a custom authentication scheme or um, or anything else that is more specific to your needs. Um, you can contact us through support and we'll work with you to uh, make it happen. So uh, hopefully this gives you a quick idea of how the uh, dashboard server works. Uh, do check it out online, dashboardserver.syncfusion.com. And as usual, if you have any questions, uh, please do contact us uh, through our direct track support system. Uh, thank you for your time and good luck with your project.